You know, guys, this is actually an embarrassing video for me to make, but with the crypto markets going down and everything, I'm essentially broke at this point. Um, you know, this thing has played out way longer than we thought. It's whatever, been eight or 10 months. I can't even keep track anymore. And this is kind of like a double whammy. I mean, I got hit hard in the 2014, 2015 sell-off period in crypto the last time around, and I have been hit hard again. And so I'm essentially broke. Um, things aren't going well and everything. So, you know, see, that's what I tell myself. See, I live like I'm broke so I can accumulate right now. This is when people get stupid bitty rich. $10 million, $100 million, a $1 billion in crypto and get truly bitty rich and live a life of absolute freedom. So sometimes you have to make the sacrifices and kind of do things um, that other people would not be willing to do. So how do I kind of do that? Um, you know, it's just kind of a, I have to live like I'm broke. I mean, if somebody saw me, if somebody saw my car, if somebody saw uh, maybe even some of the electronics that I'm using, they would be like, why don't you get a new MacBook or something? You know, it's like, well, I mean, this computer's fine. You know, like that's just, I come, I come from a long lineage of cheapskates. I mean, you know, it's just, it's hard for me to kind of express. And, and actually over time in the generations, I think my family has maybe even became less of cheapskates, let's say with me and my sister's generation, I guess. But um, just, I don't know. We were just like very frugal, save a lot of money, don't spend stuff on, you know, a lot of things like clothes, stuff like that. Uh, so that kind of helps me in this situation. A lot of Americans, and you might be in a different part of the world, you know, leave a comment below if you're in another part of the world. I always think that's cool when crypto is global market. So, um, but a lot of, a lot of places like the United States, people don't save any kind of money. They don't, they don't even have enough money to kind of make it, you know, two or three weeks from now, if they lost kind of their primary income source, if they lost their job. So uh, these recessions, the last couple have been extremely bad because of that, um, because people, people don't save. So that being said, um, you know, things are all about timing. You know, I have divested from real estate at this point because I think the fun ran out with real estate. That's my personal opinion that for now interest rates could go up and we could see, you know, some pullback or we see a major slowdown in the real estate market. Now, where I was at in Arizona, previous to this, the market was only appreciating four or 5% a year. You know, I had a lot of money, you know, stuck in there. It was kind of like a piggy bank that I couldn't crack, I guess in some respects, so that's how it felt. Kind of a little bit of a forced savings plan, but um, had a lot of equity, kind of rode, rode the market up. It never appreciated like I thought it might. Uh, it wasn't like these other places like California or Washington or places like that that were appreciating 15 to 20% a year. Uh, you're, we're only getting like 5% appreciation a year. So anyway, um, I think I can do better obviously in the crypto market. Now is the time to be building positions. And again, this is when people get filthy bitty rich, millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars, hundreds of millions of dollars, billions of dollars in crypto. Um, and then you have to be smart. You can't get too greedy. And you have to be able to shave off some of that, you know, earnings when you get up there. But the prize will go to the people who can withstand the most amount of pain and can hold positions for years. Build positions and then hold positions for years. And then again, not get too greedy. Um, so anyway, it's, it's just, the thing is with people in the United States, a lot of people don't own anything. They don't own their cars, they lease them or they make payments, they don't own their phones, they're on a payment plan. All they own is the shirt on their back. A lot of times they don't own their shirt on the back because they paid with a credit card that has not been paid off. So um, a lot of people are actually kind of in a net kind of negative situation. In the United States, even if it looks like, oh man, they're balling out of control, look at them. They got a couple nice cars, they got a TV in every room, 
you know, they're living the life. And, and you know what? And I, it might not be a bad life. You know, sometimes when you put yourself through so much pain, you know, just to save, 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 that can't always be a good thing too. You know, because we don't know when we're going to die. Could die tomorrow. You don't know when you're going to die. So, um, again, I'm not telling you not to have fun, but in the same token, all these people who are unsubscribing from these crypto channels because they don't want to hear about crypto, they got burned in crypto, they're going to lose out. This is the acquisition period. If you are watching now, you're actually doing yourself a big favor by bucking the trend. Most people psychologically will FOMO into positions and then when things are down, they will sell out at the wrong time. They're in and out at the exact wrong time. Um, and I know it's tough. I know it's tough, guys. Like, it is not fun to be pressed out of a position, whether it's in the stock market or it's in crypto or real estate or maybe some, you know, motorcycle or car that you have, that kind of stuff. I mean, it certainly happened to me it certainly happened to me in crypto where I've just had to see the writing on the wall and had to sell out of crypto assets because I was like, this thing is, the, the trend's going down. I'm going to have to sell out at this point and hope to buy back in at the same or a lower price in the future and retake my position and stuff. And so, you know, I have had to do some of that at times. So stick in there, guys. It's not easy, but at the end of the day, I live like I'm broke right now so that I can live a life of absolute freedom. Follow me on all social media at Brian Phobos, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Steam it. See you guys later.